Hello, welcome back to the Laravel course. In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can create rows inside of our model. So for example, right now we've got the product model and that is accessing the uh, products database table. And we saw in the last video how we can select data that's already in the database. But how about if we want to create new data? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this route. So I've just cleared it out from the other video, uh, but I'm going to create a variable inside of the URL. So the way we do this is by putting curly brackets and inside of here, I'm going to put the variable name. So I'm going to go product, um, or let's call it name actually. That will be a bit easier. And then inside of here, I'm just going to pass through dollar name. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new model, a new row inside of that model, inside of that database. Um, and we're going to give it this name that we pass through here. And this is super easy to do. All we've got to do is declare a variable. I'm going to call it product and set this equal to new app backslash product. I remember what I said in the last video about namespaces. If we went up here and put use app backslash product, we could just select it with a new product. So now we have the product declared. All we can do now is go product um, and then the field names are name, description and type. So I can set name equal to, uh, let's say LG. I can set dollar product uh, description is equal to uh, whatever and then dollar product type is equal to phone and pretty much what we've done here is we've created an object right here so new app product and we've set the values of the object and then we're going to go dollar product save really simple and Laravel handles all of this for you so when you go dollar product equals new you are essentially creating a new object within that model which is pretty much just a new row inside of the database table. So when we go ahead and run this now, so we're going to hit slash product slash LG, for example, and we get an error unknown column updated at, and we'll have the same error for unknown column modified at as well. Really good reason for this. Uh, so Laravel has two default uh, column names, so they are modified at and created at. So the really simple way to fix this is just to uh, create two more fields so created at being a timestamp and then we can duplicate this and modify that and Laravel will automatically save to these created that modify that they do exactly what they say on the tin so let's go ahead and refresh and sorry this should actually be updated at not modified at uh, so my mistake there and there you go blank page which should mean it's all good so LG whatever phone and what we should really be doing is going dollar uh, name and so then up here I can just go ahead and say uh, something I can't think of a brand then launch the database back up refresh that something whatever phone you get the idea and the created that and modified that are all saved for us all right so that's all good that's the really simple way to create new uh, rows in our database table all right so one final thing I want to cover is relationships and this is actually really important you will use these everywhere uh, so relationships are essentially how we link one table to another in its simplest form so I've got this example right here. I've gone and created a cars table and an owners table. So here's the idea. We've got all these cars. So Ford, Ferrari, Toyota, Ford, Lamborghini. We've got some reg numbers and they've got this owner ID. And here's where it gets interesting. So each car has an owner. So we could do this like uh, we could add another field here and just put the names of the owners. But what about if an owner has multiple cars? So that's why we split them out into separate tables. So we've got all these owners, we've got Neil, Jack, and David. And so each of these people can own one or more cars or, or zero, it doesn't really matter. The idea is each owner can own multiple cars. If we had their names here, we'd be duplicating their names. It would just get a bit messy. So how can we actually link these tables? It's actually really simple. So what I've gone and done is I've created two models, a car model and an owner model. Literally just in the uh, command prompt, just type in PHP artisan make model owner and then the same thing for car really simple stuff and again my tables are called cars and owners so Laravel will just pick them up by itself so to define a relationship it couldn't really be much simpler so we're going to start off with car so a car can have one owner so really simply what we're going to do is going to go public function and owner and by a convention this should be in lowercase and then we're going to return dollar this belongs to because it has an owner and then we're just going to say inside of here in quotes, we're going to select the app backslash owner. So let me just give you a bit of a recap of what happens here. This is the car model. 
so the car database table and this has an owner so we define this owner here and we simply return that this car belongs to the owner model so there's going to be an owner in the owner model who owns this row and then what we can do is inside of the owner model we do a very similar thing we're going to do public function and this time we're going to do car and we're going to return dollar this has many because that's how we define the relationship you can have has one has many many to many this is how relationships work so the owner has many cars they can have one or more cars uh, so has many car uh, sorry this should actually be app backslash car uh, because again we are selecting this car model from the owner model and by default the way Laravel does this is it picks up the primary key and the foreign key uh, automatically using I think it's called like snake case or something um, so I'll show you here so cars should have an owner ID and this should actually say owner underscore ID and that will correlate to ID here so if we had articles and authors with each article would have an author underscore ID Laravel will pick up automatically which table to use or which field to use if we had different names there we can set the foreign key here and then the primary key here or sorry the local key here uh, if you want to know more about that check the documentation but ideally you want to be following conventions all right so now on our web.php file we can really simply go uh, dollar car is equal to app backslash car and then find and this will get it by id and uh, that shouldn't be an arrow that should just be double colon like that so that's gr that grabs the method find which just grabs the uh, the row by its id and so right here as you know you can just go echo dollar car and then they get the uh, make and then uh, one other thing that's important change the url forward slash car and then grab the id and filter this in as id and then dollar id all good so now we can go ahead up here forward slash car forward slash one and we grab the ford and if we want to grab the owner we can simply just go car owner arrow and then whatever we want so name so that'll grab the name of the owner and you see that got david and i can go uh for number two so car number two is owned by neil that's the ferrari jack owns number three you get the idea now how about if we reverse it if we want to grab the uh the owner and see which cars they own so we're going to go root get owner and then we're going to pass in the owner id and then we're going to grab it from the owner model so grab the owner from the owner model and then we're going to add on over here in the actual when we're defining it we're going to add on right at the end car and this will grab all of the cars owned by that owner and we're going to, we can just loop through this so for each dollar owner as car uh, by convention you should really go dollar cars here or something but just to keep it simple and then we're just going to echo out dollar car make and then i'm going to go ahead and hit forward slash owner forward slash one and we'll get the owner number one owns the ferrari and the lamborghini and that just so happens to be me not in real life though anyways i'm gonna leave that video here hopefully you learned something really useful today and i'll see you in the next one